guys, welcome to another Kamikaze Creation video. Uh, if you look over there, you'll see it sitting on the top of the motor. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a review of it and the process of getting it to sitting on the top of the motor in the angle it's on. So, let's do it. I've just started to unbox it and pretty impressed with the packaging. Uh, so far, it looks like it's quite secure. And uh, we're starting to get down to some fun stuff in here. On top of that packaging was the uh, gaskets and flanges. V-band in there and the main gasket there's another little gasket to uh, go to that oil drain I'll be able to check that against my other one see if that plate fits and there's the turbo down in there so really securely packaged um, for an eBay purchase if anyone's unsure um, so far the packaging looks really good um, the thing that I did notice um, was that it, even though I bought it from an Australian company on eBay, it said from Australia, uh, I think it was Sydney, um, when I did the tracking, it actually showed that it had been flown from, uh, I think, China. Uh, so a lot of these companies, and I think you'll probably find this is some of the big turbo companies, um, are actually getting into the game and bringing these in themselves. <clears throat> they used to call it dropship marketing, uh, where these companies have built a relationship with a Chinese company. Um, all the orders go straight through the eBay site, but they go straight to the original company and then uh, are flown direct to you. So possibly what's happening with this, but anyway, I'll get it out and let you have a look. The good thing, it's I'm very impressed with the packaging. The good thing is it's all sealed up. Um, most of the open orifices on it uh, do have bungs on them. Obviously this one hasn't, but uh, the packaging is incredibly good, done very professionally. Um, we'll have a look at the product once we get it out of the packaging. So I couldn't resist. Had to... Um, had to sit it on the motor and have a look at it. Looks pretty wicked. Uh, having said that, it's all uh, around the wrong way for me. And I have seen another video on these eBay turbos where this person found the same thing. Um, this is a top mounting uh, manifold and it's possibly set up uh, for well definitely set up for a different manifold you can see the oil drain is sitting up the top here and I really want that down the bottom um, my outlets that's not too bad where the outlets facing I suppose it depends on when I start running the lines um, that's my uh, there's my external wastegate and I've seen a few videos on these that they actually test the pressure on these because they I think this is about 14 pounds it's set at um, by the advertisement. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of pressure that opens up at. Anyway, we'll take the bungs off and have a look inside. Now this turbo is a journal bearing turbo. Um, there's tiniest little bit of play up and down as far as axially or through the length of it there's no no movement at all very very small amount of movement um, rotates really really nicely feels very clean in its rotation um, yeah don't know a lot about turbos but uh, so far it's looking pretty good to me um, Nothing much down there to see. Um, and here's the compressor. Oh, this is the exhaust side. Oh, they call them all sorts of different names. But again, 
rotates beautifully. It feels incredibly smooth in its rotation. Uh, I have had suggestions about using um, oil restrictors, uh, but this being a journal bearing turbo, I believe doesn't need one. I think the restrictors are more for the roller bearing turbos. But anyway, I'll um, have a bit of a fiddle around and see if I can pull it apart a little bit and rotate it a bit around and still get it to work. Uh, and I'll uh, get into that now. I'm just starting to look at rotating um, the main compressor housing over here. Um, and I want to spin this so it's down and definitely want to get that facing down. So I've undone all of the bolts on here and it's starting to move. I've just got to um, disconnect this wastegate and then I'll start to rotate it around and get it in the position I want. This little circlip went on to this pin to hold that um, wastegate actuating rod. Um, and I'm, it'll start rotating now, um, but I'm obviously going to have to move that wastegate around on these bolts as well. So I'll take that off so I can reposition it once I get the uh, housing in the position I want. So I've now disconnected that wastegate and the whole turbo will spin. The only issue probably is the length of that bit of pipe and when I reposition it, whether it'll have the right length to get to where it needs to go. But uh, let's rotate it and see how we go. Radio, starting to work this out. So our oil inside this one, there was this little doohickey, which I reckon is a restrictor. So this is the oil in um, port. And down the bottom, if I spin this around, you can see the drain port is much, much larger. So I really want it pointing pretty much straight down. I'll bring the oil in the top and drain it to the bottom. If anyone thinks I'm doing the wrong thing, please let me know. Um, the restrictor. Now this is a journal bearing turbocharger. Uh, and I was thinking it didn't need a restrictor, even though it's came, it has come with one. So I'm going to take that out for this point in time. Again, if anyone's got some opinions on whether it should have it, I'm happy to hear those opinions. Again, because I've taken the main housing off, so there's the, uh, the housing there, I can position that outlet now anywhere I want it, which is awesome. Having the drain, having the oil feed in the top, drain in the bottom, and then positioning the outlet where I want it is exactly what I was after. I just have to get that actuator to work with it. Anyway... Moving forward. So this is the end result of a little bit of manipulation. Now these uh, bolts here allow the whole housing to rotate. Um, all you need to do is undo these. You don't need to, yeah, you do need to take this off uh, to allow it to rotate. Um, but you can undo, there's two plates. There's a top plate that this uh, wastegate actuator is on and the bottom plate is just a, a uh, retaining plate so you needed to take this one off because of the actuator the bottom one you just could have loosened off and then this whole housing rotated I did have it pointing down uh, and out at a different angle but it was very close to the exhaust and considering I'm possibly going to be using silicon um, pipe on here I thought I'd bring it up a bit away from the exhaust I can always put an elbow and uh, shoot it out to where it's got to go but that's looking pretty good so uh, the inlet is here outlets down the bottom which is excellent so it's got free flowing down to the uh, the drain down there and I think I'm going to build another drain even though I've been fiddling around with that um, I think I'm going to make another one when I bought this this plug uh, they actually sent me two, which was a bonus. So I'll probably just cut this one off. I think I'm going to put a pipe on there and angle it up and uh, run it up through to that drain up under there. So the drain is up under the bottom face there. So anyway, guys, 
looking very good. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Even though I haven't got a lot of experience with turbochargers, I'm incredibly impressed so far with the quality of that one. And from what I've heard, uh, as long as you keep the oil up to these eBay turbos, or I suppose any turbo, but especially uh, the eBay turbos, keep the oil up to them, keep it draining out uh, well, and they will last a fair while. But at 140 bucks, geez, just you know, buy one every 12 months if you have to. Swap different turbos on, feel different boosts, build lag into it, take lag out of it, whatever you want. So very impressed with that turbo and uh, happy with the setup so far and the angle. I'm, I'm, I'll, I've got a few questions. Um, and the main one, if anyone's got some feedback, is that restrictor in the inlet side, whether the journal bearing should have a restrictor. I'm pretty happy to go either way. Happy to listen to people's opinions on that. But... Nice setup. eBay Turbo reviewed. So there we go, guys. Very, very, very happy with that turbo. I can't wait to have it running on the engine uh, in the car. It, it's going to be awesome. So eBay Turbo, it's a thumbs up for me. Uh, not that I've tried anything else, but you know the changeability of it, I think, is the winning part. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you soon.